Okay, everybody. Welcome to vlog number 34. We're going to shoot for a whole year of vlogs. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll try our hardest. Anyway, I am going to move the male, Hognose, back into his own cage again. But I got him a new cage. It's a bigger cage. I have it set up for him. I got him a bigger water bowl that he can't tip over. Uh, like I said, about two to three inch, about two inches of uh, aspirin bedding here so that they can get down in it. Um, then I go to reptile scan. Is it repti scan? I mean, I print up these little cards here and then I get QR codes. I can get it on my phone or anything like that. And then I put these little Velcro pieces on the back. I stick them on the front. There we go. It's on there. Uh, another thing I do, I always stick the water bowls in the front of the cage, and I'll tell you why I do that. One, that way when I just do a quick little glance by, I can see if it needs to be water changed, because I can see through these cages. And two, the heat strip is in the back. And if the heat strip's in the back, what happens is, it'll build up a lot of uh, condensation, because that will evaporate and fill this whole cage full of condensation. Like, that's just because I just washed this tub. Just washed it. It looks like it, but the aspen bedding got a little wet over here, but I just washed this tub. Because I wash every tub, even if it's brand new, I wash it before I put the animal in it. Um, so, and that's what I do. So, in today's vlog also, we got two uh, unboxings that Becky did earlier that's going to go on here. And it's going to be a throwback Thursday story. And this will be a throwback st Thursday story that's totally reptile related. And Becky, to this day, laughs every time I tell the story. So I'll have her recording when I do it. Plus, I am going to do a feeding of the gopher snake that's up for grabs in our giveaway. So you guys can see how well it eats and everything like that. As long as it ain't shedding, which I should have checked before I started throwing his food out. But anyway, I am going to do that here in a little bit. Um, so you can see how good of an eater he is. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me get the, the hognose snake and we'll put him in here and that'll be the, what we're coming to. Okay, hold on. And there he is. And every time you put a hognose snake in these cages with the water bowl over in the corner, they always make their way around. Now look, if I touch it start moving really quick but it comes up over here there you go see I love the hognose personalities and everything he's probably gonna take a drink of water I think that bowl is clean that's uh, water calcium built up around it that doesn't come off so all right well the next we're gonna go feed this this other snake over here and uh, I might get the female hog at the end of the video here. Plus, I'm going to give another. I'm going to give a shout out to. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys watch this guy, but uh, he's got a lot of information. He's really good at what he does. Um, his channel's Edward Tyndall. I don't, I'm sure a lot of you guys have subscribed to him, but I'll put a link in the description in 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 the in the description below, along with my buddies going Uper AEP. Slash Master, you know, you guys got to check all them channels out, but I'm putting it in there, and uh, BC Pythons, too, he's a good guy, I'm going to put his link in the description, too, great guy, alright, hold on, we're going to get the, we're going to be feeding this, um, the giveaway snake here in a minute, so you guys can see it eating, hold on. You ready to see what I got, yeah? Bubble wrap? Yeah, I got your bubble wrap. Oh, that's all I see is 
This is your favorite character of all. It is. I got Dopey. Now I got two of them. I only need, what, six more? I'm debating if I'm going to get Andy or not. Grumpy. Oh. Grumpy. You're funny. <laughs> I got dopey. I got dopey. Me, 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 me. Oh, wow. It's odd that it was wrapped in bubble wrap. <laughs> Usually it gets in. What's the name? Let me see here. Oops. Oh, you're awful silent today. Yeah. I slept good last night. Did you? Yeah, I fell asleep about 9 o'clock and slept until like 6.20 this morning. Come on! <laughs> and so then she walks behind me. <laughs> All right, people. Sit. My Leo. See, Disney treasure box is filled with 100% exclusive Disney collectibles. Oh, you can buy a Disney treasure box by Funko. And you don't know what's in there until you get it. All right, guys. We'll have to check this out, huh? Yeah. Funko.com slash Disney Treasures. Join today. I guess it's like a mystery box type of thing. Greatest hockey team of all time. What, the dumbbells? No, the shirt. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. All righty. Got another All unboxing right, for you here, hun. And get that knife right there. I dug it out for you. This unboxing is very crucial for you. It's very important. You've wanted this really bad. I wanted this really Yes, bad? you did. Oh, I could just imagine. Here, cut this side over here, and then you can... Oops, sorry. Well, move. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut yet. Oh, it will flip it. No, it won't. Yeah, well, well, I'll hold it right here. Go ahead and rip it open. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Oh, yeah, but I really want it. What are you saying? I'm a rodent and I need rodent food? No, but your rats do. <laughs> you're a butt hole. <laughs> How was school today? Good. Wait, should I tell him what Leo did when he walked up to me? Did I tell you what he did? He couldn't find his bone to Green Andrew, so he ripped the whole leaf off the plant and gave it to him. No, it was on the ground and oh. he grabbed it and bring it to me. Right. There he is. There's the Leo. There's the Leo. Andrew, yeah, move that box. Yeah, move that box for us. No, that's because it's... <laughs> there you go. Andy kind of pissed him off. I don't know if you can hear that or not. You just see him. His whole body just go like triples in size. Yeah, it's funny watching these guys do that, ain't it? I don't know what he did to make him so mad. Uh, he wants to eat and I moved him. That's what I did. Alright, we'll be back. Oh, 
know if you can hear them, guys. Oh, the sun just walked in. Don't you touch me. It is payoed. Why? Uh, your dad made him mad. Oh my lord, I've never seen a snake so mad in my life, Andy. Why did you make it mad? Why, what's he doing? Is he striking at you or is he just... No, it's just like, but he's watching Andrew. He's a gopher snake, that's what they do. Why is he watching me? Because he can see <laughs> Jeffrey just texted Jahan. <laughs> no, texting you, not me. <laughs> Why is he looking at me? I'm gonna go over here so he looks at you. <laughs> is he looking at you now? No, but he's just so ticked off. I've never seen a snake <laughs> so ticked off in my life. Is he still looking at me? Go for snakes. He's got like his mouth half open. That's, that's go for snakes for you. Yeah, you have that lid over there and that other butt. That right behind you? Both of them. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. This? Let's open it up. Shh, shh, shh. Listen. Listen to him. Alright, we're going to feed him real quick. <laughs> oh, you want to feed that thing? Huh? You want to feed that thing? Yeah, we have Watch that idea. Finch, Finch. You really want to feed that thing. You're on a death wish, father. <laughs> we'll be back. You ready? <laughs> no! Dude, don't be scary! If you'll eat it right here, he might not eat it. I don't know why he's so pissed off right now. Alright, we gotta get him back in his other tub before he eats. Because he is not gonna eat in there. Alright, guys, that went on. off without a hitch. Yeah, right! He almost, he almost got on the floor and I almost had to climb back into a sink! I don't know why he's so bad today, but I'll tell you something. This reminds me of the throwback <laughs> story. She got my she got my fat belly in that video right there just a second ago. But anyway, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this throwback Thursday story. I had placed an order with uh, Bob Clark, great guy, very good friend of mine. I had ordered what was it about ten snakes? I don't remember. <laughs> it was a bunch of reticulated pythons and Burmese pythons. This big box, it was four boxes, wasn't it? I don't remember. Anyway, all I remember is that sink was very comfortable. So I open up the first bag, open up the box, I open up the bag, I open it up and I look in there and there's a whole bunch of Burmese pythons in there, about 10. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. So I said, Becky, if I had a camera back then, this would have been classic. But anyway, I reach in, I grab all these snakes out and I'm holding them and I'm looking at them in a big ball like this. And I'm looking at them. Okay, but guys, remember... This story also takes place... 22 years ago. 22 years ago. Before we had the YouTube. Otherwise, it would have went off. And before and, we had kids. Okay. And I'm holding this big ball of snakes. And I'm looking. And then I noticed one look at me. Looked me right in the eyes. And was like... <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. Wait, and that went, one just did? <laughs> and it went wham and missed me. And I grabbed it by its... Right by its neck. I grabbed it. Because it wasn't going to bite me in the face. Well, then... The other ones decided, we're going to take your side, buddy. Next thing I know, bam, 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 bam. I'm getting bit all over the face. The face, the arms, blood's flying everywhere. I'm screaming. One falls on the floor. It's trying to crawl away. I'm like, Becky, get me a bag. I got to put him away. I turn around, and she's standing, standing in the kitchen sink saying, I ain't coming down there. And I'm trying to put all these snakes in a bag. I'm getting bit in the face, the arms, the neck. There's blood all over the place. And she's doing what she's doing right now. <laughs> laughing. I ain't coming down there. But I, the reptile expert that I am, got them in a bag. And no, it was fine. The bag was close enough. I was able to reach the bag without getting out of the sink. And I threw it at yeah, that's why I, But I was. I was able to get them all back in a bag. It was funny. So from that day forth, when I open up a bag... I open it, I look, and then I slide them out of the bag. I don't just reach in and grab because <laughs> you get them out and they're like, wait a minute, this ain't normal. And then they're explaining. It was funny. She's still laughing at it. 22 so, years later. I mean, I had blood. You're all, the dumb idiot. I had blood all over my arms from my sleeves down. They got me all over the face, <laughs> the arms, everything. It was a whole pile of them. It was like 10 of them. It was like 
craziness. <laughs> but she still laughs at it. Because you're her stupid idiot. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back, guys. I guess he's so pissed off, he just will not eat right now. So, tomorrow, I will feed him tomorrow. You will see. Oh, there we go, Jeff. Got to do this one. I'll feed him tomorrow, and we'll go from there. All right, guys? What is the, what is the text? Did I make the vlog today? Because I texted him, I said, we're finishing up the vlog early tonight. He goes, dang, this would be the first one I haven't made. Well, there you made it, Jeffrey. You made it. Look, yeah, made it. Right. Oh, wait, he's texting again. All right, guys, I just want everybody to know that, uh, you know, bull snake or gopher snakes, bull snakes, pine snakes, <laughs> <laughs> their hiss is worse than their bite. So, all right, guys, um. This is vlog number 34. Thank you very much for being in it. Don't, and please share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget about the 500 subscriber giveaway, which was our beautiful, <laughs> lovely gopher snake here. We're only like 45 away. If we can get up there, we'll do it. Um, and then we'll do another giveaway after that. For, I was reading some of the comments, mm -hmm. and there one person says the no to the unscrambling. Yeah, well, go and youper, you'll be fine. <laughs> you got kids that are in school, they can help you. And then there's others that says, yes, 100% word I, scramble. Yep, yep. That won't be for this giveaway, that'll be no. the next one. Um, which will be like a gopher snake or or a hot baby hognose when these guys... See, youper, if you want your baby hognose, you'll unscramble a word. No, we're going to do a phrase, like uh, something great. We'll, we'll come up with a good little phrase. And it'll be in a series of vlogs. There'll be like one or two letters in there. <laughs> Becky was thinking this. Becky was thinking we should put a movie phrase in there. And then you have to have the phrase and the movie it came from. And I think that's a good idea. Because we got a couple movies that... <laughs> it'll be a fun challenge. So far, everyone I've talked to and said those phrases to have never heard of that movie. Jeffrey knew what it was. So Jeffrey... If we do that movie, you can't No, well, I wouldn't do those ones oh. because they're my favorite quotes, and if anyone knows me, they know that. Yeah. Like, the cop, the cop, the cop shit is pissed. Oh, yeah, nobody knows that one either. <laughs> I, I wonder how many people... And if you guys can say, if you know what movie that came from, comment... Down below. below on what movie it is, and maybe we'll... I'll give you some extra brownie points. Yeah. And then here's another phrase from the same movie. But you gotta do the actions for it, hon. Alright. Them sons of bitches took my thumb! All from the same movie. <laughs> I wonder how many people have ever seen that movie. Um, let's see. I'm only 40 and I've seen that movie about 4 million times. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. I could be in a dead sleep in that movie. You turn that movie on and I wake up like I that. <laughs> I'll g I can give them a song that's in that movie, too. What's the song? The Summer Wind by Frank, Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Summer, Summer Wind. Wind. Well, that don't help many. Is that, well, that song's been in a million movies. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's in the movie that I'm thinking of. So, yeah, there you go. You can put those three things together. And actually, that is one of my, one of my, I would say, top 20 favorite movies. Yep. Yep. So, that's the kind of stuff we're going to do for the next drawing, not this one. But anyway... Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and do not forget the 500 subscriber giveaway is coming up real quick. And she's zooming in on my eye and it's making me go blind. Because you got a huge pimple, right? I'm looking at a pimple if I got a pimple on my nose. Damn. No, no, stop. Because you don't see it. No. Unless you're on film, it's like right in between your eyes. Whatever. It's good. It's fine. Just leave it be. I'll pop it in a little bit. No, we're not popping it. I'll all. pop it. No, we're not. That's it. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you trying to bust, break my, boom, stop. I am not no dog. <laughs> stop it. I'll get my mom. Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not wearing any. <laughs> That's because I threw them in the trash. Sorry, Jeffrey. 
No, he did not because I just took them off. I won't wear my good boots down here in the basement. All right, guys. Thumbs up the video, too. Like, comment, subscribe, and we're out.